Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be closing out our budget for the month of October. So to get started, we're going to take a look at our bills. Thankfully, it's always a nice thing when bills go as planned and I feel like they were all pretty spot on. I've gotten to the point now where I get the bills in advance, I know what the due date is, what the amount is, all that kind of stuff, so there's really not much guesswork at all when it comes to bills. Um, I like the predictability, it's nice. By the way, if you hear a little bit in the background, that is Kara. She's a little restless this morning because I did not get to take her for a walk. So <laughs> she's calm now, but she would not let me film a little bit ago, so we'll see how this goes. So. Um, let's see, we were under on bills by 402 and then 513. So a total of 915 that we were under. So let's do this. 915 and then we'll just subtract out that. So we spent a total of 3,000 $65 and 88 cents. Uh, yeah, so that is good. And then as far as expenses are concerned, so for Andrew's pocket money, that was cash. So that was just 160 total. And we'll just mark the difference there. Costco. Let's take a look at Costco. So Costco, we didn't spend anything else. Um, we did get gas, so I'll need to update that in a moment. But for Costco, our ending balance was 31 cents. So that is as close as you can get there. So we're going to subtract that out. So uh, let's see, we put the 31 cents over here. And then we spent 4.99. 69. Date night, that is a cash category, so that was 200 even. Same thing with family fun. And then as I mentioned, we did fill up our gas tank, so let's take a look at that. So for gas, we ended last week with 47.88 left in our budget. Oops, let me turn images off. 47.88. We did fill up our gas tank, so that was a total of 71.31. So we're gonna be over on gas by just a little bit. So 71.31. So we'll do 47.88 minus 71.31. And that means that we are over, I'll do that one. Or do I want to do like the darker red? We'll do the darker red. Uh, 2343. 2343. Copy that. Yeah. Okay. So we will paste that here. And that means that we spent a total, total, um, of 223.43 for gas. So not too, too bad. Um, okay, and then groceries, we had $5 remaining. I know that just off the top of my head because um, I just filled up our cash envelopes. If you saw my budget setup video yesterday that went up yesterday, you saw that. So that means we spent 395 of the 400 and we had $5 remaining there. Household, we had $40 remaining in that category. So that means that we were under by 40. And we just keep that cash in the envelope um, and let it roll into the next month. We don't really do anything else with it. <laughs> that was Kara. She doesn't want me to be filming right now, you guys. Um, Maddie's commission, that's good. We need to find her commission little pouch. Um, you guys probably saw that in my October budget setup video. We had this like little orange pouch that we put all of her cash in and it is seriously gone. Like I have no idea where it is. So 
it still has all $40 in it because to be honest, we haven't been doing the best with chores and stuff like that, like giving her extra chores to do. We just had a lot going on, especially in the month of October, we had vacation and then the kids have been sick now for a bit and stuff. So it's just not something that we've prioritized. But, um, and then piano, that was 140. What are you chewing on? What you got? What you got? What is that? You have your balloon over there. Don't chew up weird things. <laughs> what do you have? Do, do you guys as dogs do this? Like, you hear them chewing on something and then you open their mouth and it's seriously just like there's nothing there. What are you doing? <laughs> and then she stops. She stops chewing and then she looks, she like side eyes me. Oh, give me that. Where, this is what she had. Where did you even find that? What is that? Okay, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. We have to keep Kara and Mando separated for now um, because Mando's still healing. So they can't rough house or anything. And she just likes being in here anyways. So, um, but yeah, right now she's just a little bit hyper and wanting to play and stuff. Um, so anyways, okay, so preschool, we did have a transaction for preschool take place. We um, had Jules go one day before she got sick. So we spent a total of $54 um, for that. So 54 there and then uh, yeah, I got confused for a minute. Okay, um, we did decide to take Julia out. Um, you know, she, so she got sick. She, we've had her going for three weeks now, so I feel like we gave it enough time, but she also just does not like to go. Anytime we're like, do you wanna go to school? She's like, no, <laughs> she has no interest. And we're like, okay, you know what? Like if she's not really having fun and she, you know, there's a lot of ickiness going around and if we can choose to not expose her to that and all that, like that's what we're going to do. So um, Andrew's just gonna, you know, take her to the gym as per usual. They go to the gym, you know, several times per week. We go to church, like she gets plenty of interaction with other kids. And it's not like she's really like learning anything while she's there, you know, they don't have like a curriculum or anything like that. So we just decided it would be best to take her out. So that expense we did plan for for November, but we're gonna be changing it. We actually messaged Colleen, our cleaners um, that we had coming before, and I think we're gonna start having them come like every three weeks again and just kind of go back to what we were doing before. So what are you doing down there? What you doing down there? <laughs> um, what are you doing? Girlfriend, I need to film. I need to film. I do. That's what that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yes, I know you want attention. I know you do. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna get through this video, guys, I promise. Sorry in advance for any interruptions. At least she's cute. She's super cute, huh? Okay, so, um, all right, so for preschool, our remaining amount, we were definitely under 188, which is great. So we will put that in and we'll change the color to green because we're under there. So that means we spent a total of 312 for preschool. And then for my pocket money, that was 160. That's just cash. And then for unbudgeted, that's where we had quite a bit going on. So for unbudgeted, this was because of Mando's stitches and things like that, all the vet bills. So not fun when you're over by that much, but you know, what can you do? Um, and then I'll just, <laughs> I'll just put that there too. What, do you need to go potty? All right, you guys, I'm gonna take her potty and then I will be back. Okay, guys, so it is now the next day. <laughs> um, things just got a little bit crazy after 
I don't even know where the video left off so I wanted to pop on wrap everything up this video is gonna go up late that's fine <laughs> you know it's just been kind of chaotic over here lately so I'm just doing the best I can but um, I think we left off we had totaled out all of our expenses so I just need to fill that in over here and then we'll take a look at sinking funds. So as far as our differences are concerned, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up everything in red. And then I am going to subtract the green. So we were definitely over budget this month. Not the best month. But, you know, I'm just thankful that, um, that you know, Mando's okay and everything. So it looks like we were over by a negative $866.08. So that means that $25.60, we spent a total of $3,426.00. So let me just go ahead and double check that real quick. I'm going to add up the actuals over here. So 160 plus 499.69 plus 400 plus 223.43 plus 395 plus 40 plus 20 plus 140 plus 312 plus 160 plus 1075.96. So three, four, two, six, oh, eight. So yeah, definitely very over there. But again, I'm just thankful that Mando's okay and everything and we will just move forward. So let's go ahead and take a look at our sinking funds next and get all of those closed out. So for beauty, I did have a lash fill. So one, seven, nine, six, four minus one, twelve, fifty. So that left us with $67.14 for our balance there. For birthdays, nothing else happened there. Oil changes, um, Christmas, nothing happened there. Andrew did get himself a little like backpack for the gym. So he is back to red now at $42.71. So that is that. Um, nothing for the girls, nothing for me for clothes, and nothing for family pictures. So that's all good to go um, there. And of course, I wanted to film while Andrew and Julia were at um, the store. I'm gonna have to close my door because I guarantee you Jules will run in here. Okay, I swear we're gonna get through this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so. For holidays, we did go get some um, Halloween candy. So it's $24.60. So that left us with a negative balance of $12.60. Then we, let's see, holidays, house maintenance, medical. Um, we had a copay for taking the girls to the doctor. So that was $15. So $130.32 is our balance in medical for the end of October. Miscellaneous, nothing there. Puppies, nothing there. Nothing for school, nothing for subscriptions. And then Andrew and I did book our hotel um, for our 10 year anniversary. We're gonna go see a, a Coyotes game. And we booked a hotel that is like right down the, the road. So now all, we're gonna, all that we are going to have to pay for that night is like going to dinner. So, um, we'll have time to make that back to a positive and everything within the next couple months because that's not all gonna take place until February. So we usually put 250 per month into vacation. So in November, that's gonna go down by 250 and then by December, we will be back to a positive balance. So, um, so yeah, that is that. And then that is it, you guys, for this budget closeout. I am so sorry. <laughs> 
You would think I could find like 15 minutes to sit down and film a video uninterrupted, but I am telling you this week has just been really crazy. Um, the Maddie and Jules have both been home from school. Um, I think I mentioned that Julia is no longer going to preschool and then Kara has just been, I don't know, I feel like she's just been very like anxious lately and I don't know if it's cause like her and Mando can't play the way that they normally do, normally do. They normally rough house a lot and get a lot of energy out that way. So I feel like because Mando's still on the mend and it's gonna be a little bit before his stitches come out, like they can't rough house and play like they normally do. So I feel like that probably has a lot to do with it. But she likes to hang out in here with me, but when I film, she like doesn't understand that I'm talking to a camera. She's just like, why are you talking? Like there's no one else here. <laughs> like freaks her out a little bit. So bear with me i'm so sorry again that this video was a little choppy um editing it will be very interesting but i'm going to edit it now get it up for you guys and everything i'm going to go in put in the ending balances for the november sinking fund so that'll be nice to get that done um, i've already tracked some transactions for november so my first weekly check-in will be next thursday so you guys will see that then but yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I feel like overall the month went pretty well, um, all things considered. I feel like we stuck to our budget for the most part. Of course, we had that whole thing with Mando happen, but again, keeping things into perspective, like I'm thankful we had cash to pay for it, that we didn't have to, you know, add, add to debt or anything like that to pay for it. I'm grateful that Mando's okay. So all things considered, it's, it's fine. We are going to move forward. Hopefully November will be a less eventful month and that will, you know, stick to budget and do good. So let me know how October went for you guys down in the comments down below. And yeah, I will see you Saturday for a digital plan with me. I'm actually really looking forward to sitting down and filming that video and like planning out next week. It was kind of hectic. I feel like the week just started out really hectic because I filmed my digital plan with me, my monthly budget, and my monthly plan with me all on Monday the day before like the start of the month and then planning my week the day the week started like I just don't I like having everything out of my head ahead of time and then I feel like I'm more prepared if that makes any sense so I'm looking forward to kind of getting back on track with that and like not being so behind so but yeah that's it for this one if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos and I will chat with you all later bye